Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Guys, I am so, so, so excited about what's coming to my craft room today. We're actually just gonna go ahead and just jump right into crafting. I actually didn't get anything new this week, so all of my attention has been on these next few crafts because they are so, so, so special to me. With that being said, let's jump right in. I want to show you guys, first of all, actually something new I technically did get this week. I bought this paper pack here off of Amazon. I will link it below if you're interested. And I bought this paper pack specifically for today's project. Now, as you could probably tell by the title and or the thumbnail, we are going to be making some decor for my daughter's bedroom. I plan to kind of redo her room and change the direction. So when I saw this paper pack on Amazon, I absolutely fell in love with it. I think that the prints inside are so, so pretty, and we're actually gonna use a few of them today. Okay, so I did try to zoom you guys out today. I did it as best as I could but we are gonna have a few larger projects. So I'm gonna try my best to get them all in frame, but I think that we will have fun doing them regardless. So I wanted to show you guys just kind of all together, just one time. I got these three frames at Hobby Lobby. Now I already looked and Normally, I really like to leave the clearance tags on the back of different things that I find. Just so that way, like as I take things down to redo them or let's be honest, right, I kind of eventually get around to using something. I like to know how much I actually paid for it, right? So I know for a fact I didn't pay more than like $5 for these frames. Honestly, I want to say they're around $3 a piece. I got them um, maybe a little over a year ago. So I originally had these in my kitchen. Now I did have a piece of scrapbook paper down that was more kind of themed towards the kitchen and fit that decor. I had a little bit of an issue kind of getting that paper up and getting my new paper down. I have to tell you this video is like three times in the making at this point. So I did go ahead and do that step just because it was a lot of trial and error. The little space here, when I measured it, it measures just about 11 by 7. And I kind of just ran with that measurement and cut all of my papers to fit that. However, you know, it's very hard to get your measurements completely right. And all of the openings between all three frames, although they are the same frame and they have the same print originally from Hobby Lobby, the openings were not exactly the same measurements, right? So I just kind of had to really play around and take my time. And honestly, like I said, this project is like three times in the making. I've gotten frustrated and kind of just shut it down for the night two other times. So today we are just going to push forward and we are gonna get this project done one way or another. Sometimes I feel like with certain projects, you kind of just have to see them through, right? Regardless if they come out and you love them or hate them, at a certain point, you have to just kind of move forward and see how it goes. So that is definitely where I am at with this project. Now, this is the first frame that I did today. And as you can see, I still had a little bit of issue with measurements. So up top here, you guys, we're just not even going to talk about it. I had to put a strip and put it over it, and I know it's not perfect. But honestly, just like a lot of things, and like I say all the time, in the grand scheme of things, right, once this is up in her bedroom and... All of the other elements are kind of around it, and... It is all said and done. I think that the perfections are usually a lot less noticeable than we think they are, right? We are always our worst critics. 
And that was kind of like, I don't know, the motivation for like theme of my channel, crafting gracefully, because like for that exact reason, right? I think that we are so, so hard on ourselves. But like when you see other people do something, you're like, oh my goodness, like it's fine. It looks great. Like you did a great job. Or like if somebody was to make this for, you know, your daughter and gift this to you, like how sweet and thankful would you be, right? But because like I made it, right? And I just know all of the places where I fell short or like the places I could have done something different. It just makes it that much harder for me to kind of appreciate the final project. But I will tell you, I have gotten so much better with that. I give myself tons of grace, maybe even like a little too much grace sometimes, but that is A-OK -okay with me, right? OK, so this is kind of the direction I'm going with. Now, the theme is going to be ballerinas because my daughter is currently obsessed with anything ballerina and or ballet, right? So with that being said, this is going to be a little offset layer. I cut this out of a piece of paper from the same paper pack. Every piece of paper that I'm using today is going to come from that paper pack from Amazon. I think that that is absolutely the best way To just kind of do a project right if you're using paper is just pull all of your papers from the same paper pack and that is just a foolproof way to make sure that your project is really cohesive and just really goes well together So trust me when I say, if you like get a paper pack, you can pick any papers from those paper packs and they will go together, right? Now, they might be a little more busy than you'd like. I am a huge fan of patterns and mixing patterns. So I chose to go really, really pattern heavy with my design today. However, if you are someone who likes maybe a little bit more of a simple design, right? You could just not use as many patterns as I'm using today. Okay, so I am just bringing in my favorite foam squares from Dollar Tree. And now for the little areas here on her arms and legs, I am just going to go ahead and cut them in the middle long ways. And that will just give me a really nice size for these kind of smaller areas here. And as you can see, my little ballerina is going to sit something like this, right? So I am loving the way that looks. I think that is going to be so, so sweet. Now, this layer here is three layers of cardstock. Now, I personally just used like some either scrap pieces of cardstock that were big enough to fit, or I use pattern cardstocks that I don't necessarily love the pattern itself. And maybe, you know, like me, you have some 12 by 12 paper packs that you've had for a long time, right? And there's always just those certain pages in your paper pack that maybe just don't necessarily speak to you. They're just not your favorite. Or honestly, you just don't like them. Right? Like, I feel like every paper pack I get, there's always at least like one or two sheets that I just know I wouldn't use. So I like to use those pages for things like this. So that is three layers of that. And then for the top layer, I used kind of a very, very light pink paper. 
Now I'm going to try to just kind of get this as centered as I can. I say that every time and you know, sometimes it's centered and sometimes it's not. It's just the way it goes, you know. I feel like you either have a really good eye for like getting things centered and getting things straight or you don't. Not to say that you can't get better with practice. You absolutely can. And also, you know, I think a lot of it is just how much of a hurry you're in, right? I think kind of the more we can slow down and just take our time and really be mindful of what we're doing. Typically, you know, we can usually get pretty good results, but I will say that I am just not great at it in general. So that is definitely just something I've kind of had to live with. Okay, guys, and here is my little frame all done. So this is the first of three. I absolutely love the way that this came out. It is so, so cute. Let's go ahead and do our other two. Okay guys, and here is how my second frame came out. And I wanna show you guys this little detail here. If you can see on her bun, she has like the cutest little curlies coming out. And I just thought that was the sweetest little touch. My daughter has the most beautiful curly hair. So I just absolutely love that. Okay guys, we got one more to get done and then we're gonna move on. Okay guys, and here is my last little frame. These came out so, so cute, even better than I was expecting. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna stop here or not. This is my kind of original idea, and I'm not sure if this is where I'm gonna stop or if I'm gonna add a few more elements, but I am so, so glad that I got the first few steps done. Like I said, this project has been a little more involved than I would have liked. However, such a great result. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our next project. Okay, so next up, I'm going to bring in an iron-on project because I am just genuinely so excited for this project. I cannot wait to see how this comes out. So I want to do it next just because I am tired of waiting. So today is my daughter's third day back at school. Definitely a little louder outside than I'm used to. 
So I apologize now for any traffic noise you may hear. But I will say I am so, so happy to be able to get into my craft room today during the day and actually get some projects done that have been in the works and have been on my agenda to get done for honestly quite some time. I was just kind of waiting for a summer to end and kind of for this collection of projects specifically because it is for my daughter's bedroom and I kind of wanna like surprise her, you know, and have her come home from school one day and have everything all set up with her little new decorations. So with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and just kind of get them started today. I think we're going to end up doing like four or five different little things. But like I said, I have been waiting to do for so long. And I am just so excited to do them. But everything that I have today is so, so sweet. I cannot wait for you guys to see. So I did cut this design out of a gold iron on. And I'm just going through and weeding out my little design here. As you kind of see this come to life, you'll start to see that these are the sweetest little ballet slippers. Oh my gosh, look how sweet this one with the little bow is. Oh my goodness. I mean, they're all sweet, but I am just such a sucker for a little bow. And luckily for me, they've been very on trend lately. So I have just been living my best bow life. Okay, so those weeded so well. They are so, so cute. Now, at the bottom, I just went ahead and added her name in the sweetest little font here. If you're new to my channel, hi, nice to have you. Or if you just missed the announcement because I haven't been doing it that long, I do try to place the design space link in my description box. So any of today's projects, you should be able to click that link and you'll see exactly what images and fonts I used to create everything that I have on my desk today. Okay, so bringing in my little blank for this. Now, I did haul this in a Hobby Lobby haul. I don't remember when, but I've had it for a little bit now. I know the glare is really bad on this carrier sheet. I am so sorry. I'm going to try to kind of get this lined up and placed down quickly. So that way I'm not blinding you guys, and then we'll kind of talk about it, okay? Okay, so that looks good to me. Neither my heat press itself or my heat press mat is large enough to press everything at once. So I'm just gonna kind of focus on her first name here and then wherever that lands on my design. 
You can see at the top here, I have a little bit thicking out the top. So I just want to be mindful of that, but that is going to need some additional heat up there. I have my press set at 330 for 30 seconds. And then just kind of sliding everything over, I will press the other side. Now this little flag here, it is 100% cotton. I didn't look up my heat press settings, but you definitely can. And if you're just starting out, I highly recommend it. They have a great heat guide on their website. That is super, super helpful. But for me, I'm just going to kind of wing it. I press just about everything on 330, I think. Okay, and I'm just going to flip this over and give this just a moment to cool. I want to point out here at the bottom, you can see there is a little piece of scrap iron on there. I used the back side here as just a little test area to make sure that I was going to get enough contrast between the gold and then like this kind of natural fiber color. So that's all that is. I was just making sure it was going to give me the look that I wanted. Okay, so just removing my liner here. And you guys, oh my gosh, can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute this is? Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this. Wow, like these are the projects that just make me so thankful for my Cricut and just so thankful for the community that I found here on YouTube. It just kind of like amazes me every time that I can create things and have things that I have kind of pictured in my mind and see them come to life. And to have so many of you honestly be so interested and inspired by what I'm creating you guys, I just have to tell you, it is so humbling, and thank you for all of your support. This is how my little flag came out. Now, you guys let me know how you think I should hang this in her room. I was thinking about getting, like, some ribbon, some really cute ribbon. I'm not sure. I don't have it picked out yet, but I was thinking about getting really cute ribbon and then kind of, like, tying it up like that, um, but I am open to suggestions down below. But guys, let's go ahead and move on. I have a couple more quick little crafts I want to get done today. Oh my goodness. After that last craft, I am just, oh my gosh, I am so, so, so excited to get everything done and surprise her with this. So I have four last little projects I want to get done. And I have about 35 minutes before I have to leave to go get my daughter from school. So we're going to see if I can get all four done in that 35 minutes. Now, I thought I mentioned it in last video, but as I went back and edited, I did it hear myself say it. Um, so I apologize if I missed it and I'm repeating myself, but someone did ask if I was okay after the little tropical storm we had, and I am a-okay. Um, we did have, you know, some bad weather, but nothing too crazy. Now, I did not notice that that was like that. I normally trim my pieces before for that exact reason. Because if I'm not paying attention, I don't notice and I just, just weed it and I just wasted that much vinyl. Which is not the end of the world, but, you know, anywhere I can save a penny, I will. And especially if it's a color that I love, like this pink which is just the most perfect shade of pink. I literally just try to hoard every single piece of it I can. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and just 
weed out all of our designs that we're going to need for our four little projects here. Now, kind of speaking to what I spoke to earlier about, you know, keeping things cohesive and, you know, using a paper pack is a great way to do that. Another great way to do that, you know, if you're someone who you feel like you struggle with kind of putting things together, right, and decorating a space, another great tip is use the same colors over and over, right? So, you know, this is for a little four-year-old girl's room. So, you know, we just love pink. So obviously pink is a favorite in our house. So I'm going to use, you know, that same shade of pink or maybe, you know, a couple shades of pink, but I'm going to bring that in in different areas in the room, right? So although it looks like, okay, all three or all four of these signs are the same color pink, you have to remember that they're all going in different areas of the room, right? I feel like it really just helps bring it all together, right? It's like as your eye kind of moves around the room, it picks up that same color in multiple areas. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm kind of speed crafting at this point. So I'm going to kind of quick fire these next little projects. But I will try to link any videos of where I got the products. Or if I kind of skip something, please just leave me a comment below and I will be happy to answer any questions. So bringing in the little blank here, you guys saw recently in a Target haul. This came in a little three pack from Target Dollar Spot. It was $5 for all three of them. They were sold as like little trinket trays. Um, I used the biggest of the three and I used that one in our entryway and I just placed like a candle and a little sign inside of it. So this one here was the smallest of the three and it's in this really pretty just kind of off-white color and I fell in love with the set of three because of the little scallop edges. So I just very quickly went in and added a little monogram there. And I plan to add a ribbon to this using hot glue on the back. And I'm going to put this on her wall next to her door. So just taking a little trinket tray and I'm gonna use this as a piece of wall decor. I have this little two pack of chiffon ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is more than likely the ribbon that I will use for that. Okay, bringing in my next blank here, I got this blank at Hobby Lobby. I picked up two of them. This was $6.49, but I only buy the unfinished wood when it's 40% off. So I did recently make one of these for our master bathroom. And that one came out really cute. Now for this one here in her bedroom, I did decide to go ahead and paint it white just because I knew I wanted to use a lot of this pink and I didn't think that the pink would show up that well on the natural wood. So I decided to just go in and give it a very kind of distressed rough coat of white chalk paint. And I am happy with the way it came out. As always, feel free to run with this in whatever way you like. Okay, so just bringing in my little design here. I thought this was just the sweetest little saying. It says, long live girlhood. And I just think this is so, so sweet and just super true, right? I just want my little girl to 
stay a little girl as long as she can. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. And I did remember my little trick here. So just using that lip that's not sticky, I'm going to go ahead and start to pull this up. Now, because I did paint the wood, just go slow because you could have some lifting. Once it's down and, and you've given it time to cure, it's it'll be just fine. Okay, guys, and here is her little sign. I love the way this came out. I really just love this saying. I think that this is so, so sweet. I might have to put this on a shirt for her because amen, right? Okay, so bringing in my next little blink here, I did make this little frame over in a video and I just put a sweet little design on it for my kitchen. Now, I absolutely love the look of this frame. So I am going to use this in my daughter's room. Now, this in the frame we just did, because they have that same kind of beaded detail, right? These work so well together and they're going to look so intentional that I really put a lot of like time and effort into styling this. So just using a, another piece of paper from that same paper pack, I'm just going to use the piece of paper I had in there as a guide to fit in the little opening of my circle here. Now I will tell you when I went to take off the design that I had on this originally. Oh my gosh, you guys, how sweet. Okay. So when I went to take off the design that I put on the frame, which I mentioned originally was plastic, not glass, which I didn't love anyways. But anyways, when I went to take the design off, that plastic just ripped right up, which I was kind of bummed about. But honestly, I think it's for the best. Because like I said in that video, I didn't love the look of the plastic. So with that being said, I'm actually just laying this down right on that scrap of paper. But I did want to put the scrapbook paper in the frame first. That way I could just make sure it was really, really lined up. And then also I could make sure that my frame was going to sit how I wanted it to with it in there, right? Okay, so I did put an offset layer just so we could really get nice contrast and you'd be able to read this really easily. And it just says, let's dance, which is absolutely one of my daughter's favorite activities. And it was on theme, so I had to make it. And there we go. Here is how the little sign came out. This will just sit on a little shelf in her room, and I love it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our last craft. Okay, so bringing in my last craft here, I got this little wood blank at the Dollar Tree. It came in this natural wood and it was $1.25. Now I went ahead and gave this just one very rough coat of white chalk paint. It matches the other frame I did, just very kind of loosely painted, right? And I am going to make this little sign for my daughter's bedroom door. And again, just like her little monogram piece, I'm just going to add a piece of that chiffon ribbon to the top. And then that's what I will use to attach it, right? 
Okay, so just laying that down, I got it as centered as I could. And then I'm just going to burnish it down. Now, once again, just getting that vinyl down. Now, for the little dot in the eye, it's actually the sweetest little star. And since I had some scrap of that gold iron-on that we used for the other project, I just went ahead and cut it out of that. So very, very carefully, I'm going to bring in my Easy Press Mini here, and I'm really going to focus that heat just on my iron-on here. And I don't think I mentioned it in the other iron-on project, but when I do decor with iron-on, I honestly don't worry too much about it being like super, super down, right? Because this isn't something that's going to be washed like clothing would. So I typically just use like just enough heat to get it tacked down and it is absolutely plenty. So here is my little sign all done. I absolutely love the way this came out. I actually think that I might go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can find like a really, really like pretty feminine ribbon because I don't know, I just feel like this is so sweet and I just want a really, really feminine ribbon to go with it. Okay guys, that is absolutely everything I have time for tonight. I have currently been recording for an hour and 14 minutes. I would say I've been crafting for just about an hour and let me tell you, we got a ton of stuff done. So for my last little project here, I actually have this little jewelry box that you guys saw me make a few videos back. And my daughter uses this in her bedroom. And I want to switch out the little cardstock here for some new paper that will match the new decor in her room. So with that being said, I want you guys to leave me a comment below. And let me know if any of these patterns here, which one you think that I should put in her jewelry box now. Look at this one. It is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So you guys leave me a comment below which one you think would look best for her little jewelry box. For everyone that has made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You guys are true crafty girls just like me, and I love it. To all of my subscribers and everyone who continues to support me every week, thank you so, so much. I am so, so grateful for every single one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I ask that you please do. It would absolutely mean the world to me. All right, guys, that's all I have time for. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.